Hi, I'm Grandpa. Welcome to Grandpa's World. Today we're going to talk about some possible alien stuff. I can't verify if it is or not. Back in the Incan times, they left some trinkets behind, and they look like small golden airplanes. Archaeologists say they are just simply birds, yet these trinkets have propellers, flat wings, landing gears, and stabilizing tails. 1994, two German engineers made a radio-controlled airplane using the ancient plane as their model, and it flew just fine. Commandment Rock, close to Las Lunas, New Mexico. There sits a four-and-a-half-foot-tall rock that weighs over 80 tons, called the Commandment Rock. It's, a, it's on the side of Hidden Mountain. In 1933, Professor Frank Hibben, an archaeologist, was with a guide who showed him the rock. The guide told him that in the 1880s, excuse me, he had seen the rock as a young boy. Geologist George Morehouse estimates the inscription on the rock to be between 500 and 2,000 years old. The inscription is thought to be the Ten Commandments. The Easter Island statues. Easter Island has large stone statues on the island. 900 of them, and they're over a thousand years old. None of them have the same face, and they're all about 13 feet tall, weigh about 14 tons each. They've been carved from the soft volcano rock that's on the island. There's over 400 more unfinished statues simply waiting to be moved. No one knows why they were carved or how they were moved. The Solway Firth Spaceman. Jim Templeton was a fireman, photographer, and a local historian. He and his family lived in Carlisle, Cumberland. On May 23, 1964, he and his wife Anne decided to take their little five-year-old daughter to Burr Marsh and take some pictures. Jim took three quick pictures of Elizabeth. Nothing happened out of the ordinary, and they went home. Jim took the pictures up to the Kotak store to have them developed. A few days later, he went and picked them up. When he looked at the three pictures, he realized there was what looked like a spaceman in the middle picture, but not in the first and not in the last one. And he had taken the pictures one right after the other. Kodak came out and said that the pictures were not altered in any way. Sadly, Jim passed away without ever knowing the identity of the spaceman standing behind his daughter. Now they're saying that it is Anne who has accidentally wandered into the background and Jim just didn't see her and that she is just overexposed, but wouldn't she have spoken up and said it was her if it was? I don't know. What do you think? Well, that wraps it up for Grandpa's World again this time. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell button, any button else you can find. Grandpa loves you. Talk to you later.